milk, wine, olive oil. Three very different products. What could they possibly have in common? They are all produced using an elegantly simple process with a fascinating history. This process has been known about for thousands of years and has its roots in elementary physics. And it is crucial for the 200 billion or so litres of milk we consume each year. So buckle up for a whirlwind five-minute trip through the history of separation. Separation has been around for thousands of years in one form or another. Since the domestication of cattle, humans have known that if you let raw milk stand, cream will rise to the top. This is because of the Earth's gravity. Cream is lighter than the rest of the milk, so will float to the top. But this can take as long as 24 hours, and the milk can spoil during this time. Yikes! For centuries, there was no solution to this problem. But in the late 1800s, a smart young Swedish engineer started manufacturing the first continuous dairy separators, which were an ingenious way to speed up the natural process of separation. And in doing so, Gustav de Laval sparked a dairy revolution. De Laval's machines separated milk using centrifugal force in a continuous process. A drum was turned by hand, which pulled the heavier skim milk towards the walls of the separator, while the lighter cream collected in the middle. This happened much more quickly than the ancient method of separation by gravity, and so avoided the problem of spoiling. What previously took up to 24 hours could now be achieved in minutes. And soon farmsteads and small dairies around the world were using centrifugal separators. But this beautifully simple solution could only separate a limited amount of milk at a time, and it was hard to scale up production. This challenge was solved by the next breakthrough in separator technology, the introduction of a stack of funnel-like discs. These discs created a larger surface area for the milk to separate on, which allowed the milk to separate more quickly. This new innovation, which Gustave de Laval introduced to these machines, enabled the dairy industry to move towards a more continuous production, rather than batches, and they could increase their capacity. Other uses for the centrifugal separator were later identified beyond milk production. The technology has proved ideal in wineries for removing bits of grape skin and other sediment during winemaking and also in the production of olive oil. But it was the dairy industry that really embraced the separator. According to one account, by the early 20th century, 98% of the world's creameries were using them. As farms and dairies modernized, there was a need for greater efficiency and improved hygiene in milk production, which leads us into separation's next era. The next leap forward in separation technology was to make the machines airtight. This created a number of benefits for dairies, including better product quality, and the new design also helps reduce energy consumption. As a result of new demands on hygiene and higher efficiency, separators also became self-cleaning, which meant a big leap forward in terms of improved hygiene. So, over the course of a century, separation technology has rapidly evolved from gravity to centrifugal force to disc stacks and airtight machines. But with modern dairies constantly striving for greater energy efficiency and to reduce their carbon footprint, the most recent development in separator technology takes us into space. 
The latest state-of-the-art machines utilize the same phenomenon that keeps objects moving unhindered through space, theoretically forever. By lowering the air pressure around the separator's bowl, just like the conditions in space, friction is reduced and the bowl spins more easily, which saves a significant amount of energy. So, for modern dairies, this latest innovation saves them money. But more importantly, it also helps them reduce their climate impact. Today, work continues on the next stage of the evolution of the dairy separator. What new innovation is coming next?